Welcome back to Paddy's Golf Tips. This was meant to be a bonus tip, but the more I thought about it, I, I think it deserves longer time. So, how to get the right relationship between your arms and your body. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Podrick Harrington. <laughs> So what, what we see a lot happening in golf, people think that speed is generated by the torso turning, that they think if I can turn harder, I'm going to get speed. Yeah, the torso adds some speed, but minute amount of speed, maybe 5% of the speed is coming from the torso turning extra. What actually happens is most people trying to turn it means they lose complete control of their arms and they lose their speed. So we're going to speed up our arms again and then we're going to put the torso back in. So what we don't want to see is this effort of turning and as you can see if I turn and my arms go with me there is really no acceleration in that. So you get a lot of people and they turn and they, hook, they hit a big cut there's not a lot of power in it. I put a lot of effort into it. My torso if I had a, a monitor measuring the speed of my torso I guarantee it was going probably quicker than my normal swing. What we really want, we want to make sure that everything is moving. How would I put this? That the sequence is right and we have the right amount of torso and the right amount of arms. I would recommend for a lot of people, start off by relaxing the arms, get them a little bit floppy and, 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 and just, so hit a few shots where the arms are just relaxed. I've got a seven iron here, I'll probably hit them. Well, I've actually hit that probably 160 yards. As you can see, not a lot of effort, okay? Not a lot of effort went into that. Just relax the arms. I know we don't want to take the club away this way, but in this particular format, it's given a little bit of lag and we're looking for just a little bit extra. So really relax, okay? Relax them and off she goes, okay? Very nice. That's too floppy, but we want to get a little bit back to that rather than the, <clears throat> the rigid hard swing, okay? Now, once we've got that motion that we feel our arms are a little bit involved, now we're gonna put our body back in. Okay, so we talked about this other times that we're, we're trying to grip and turn and stretch and pull the arm down. But the big key is we actually, both in the backswing and the downswing, we want a bigger turn relative to our arm swing. So it's not much use making this move. That's a big arm swing, no turn. We'd much prefer a full turn and a shoulder height with the hands. That's gonna be much more powerful than no turn and this, okay? So you will get that turn by just concentrating and not being too long with the arms. So if, you can, if somebody said to you, you can only swing this height, you will add in shoulder turn. It's just natural, you'll go, I'm making the biggest swing I can to here. Whereas somebody said you're able to swing up here, you tend not to use your body as much. So a shorter arm swing, the feeling of a shorter arm swing, both back and through will lead to a better relationship with your body and your body will actually turn more to compensate for the short arm swing. So we're talking three quarter, to three quarter. You can see I've more than a full turn through. I'm facing well, and that's a seven iron, like a three quarter seven iron. I've extended up. My right shoulder is closest thing to target. My arms are here, okay? They're not gone too far. We don't want in motion, which a lot of people who struggle to get speed and power, they do one or two things. They generally either have too much arms, which we don't want the club flying up here on its own. It will get there on a full swing when we're flat out, not in a seven iron. We don't want, definitely don't want the big drift forward with the body. That ain't gonna help us, okay? So we're always thinking, biggest body through, shortest arms. So I've got all the extension I want, and I've got short arms 
And of course, when I go to the golf course, I will hit shots like that on the golf course. That's a three quarter shot for me. I will hit golf shots like that in the course. But in general, if I was like on a nice day without the wind, I'm gonna be finishing up here. So that would be my normal swing there. I would let my arms go on the golf course, but in practice, a lot of times, I'm trying to keep, keep that relationship. In my head, a full follow through with a short arms, a full shoulder turn with a short arms in the backswing is what I'm thinking about in order to get that relationship. I certainly don't want to see the arms getting there for no other reason. And I definitely don't want to see in the downswing this idea of your body turning and getting ahead of it. You're much better off accelerating through to a short finish than turning your body and it leading the club through impact. That's not gonna help. Okay, make sure you've got that solid finish. As you say, I've got pretty much a full body turn there with a short arm through. That's a great way to practice and build up a good relationship between your arms and body. To think short arm swing with a full turn back and a short arm swing with a full turn through is a great way to think about it.